All right, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit drained today. I'm very much a little bit drained, but um, I got woken up at 3 a.m. And God told me that it's time to tell my story of when I went to hell. Uh, it's kind of weird. I got to get used to shooting in my car, man. I've been in my car really just talking to God. But all right, that's how I'm going to do it. All right, uh, I don't really like talking about this. This is a touchy subject. This is no games. Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, crap. I get like fidgety talking about this because I used to watch videos all the time on YouTube about supernatural encounters. I prayed for supernatural encounters, but I never prayed to get took into hell. I always wanted to get took into heaven or see an angel or see Jesus. You know, um, I never wanted to see an out of body experience, the one I seen. It was crazy. I'm going to try to manipulate later on in this video. I'm going to try to find a sound similar to um what i heard because what i heard was something i never even heard on earth but i'm gonna try to put it in this video to show y'all just one percent of how scary the music is and how scary the big bowling noise is and it's not gonna do justice but i just want y'all to visually hear what i heard i give my life to lord i get delivered the next day i go to jail I get delivered the next day I go to jail. 24, I think 21 or 24 demons came out of me. I got a video. I'm going to put a clip in. I'm always going to record. They're going to think it's fake. They always do. They're not going to believe me. Who's that? The people. No, who's speaking? Lucifer. No, you're not. Who's that? Are you? Is that Lucifer? Yes. Is that San Juan Glory of God? Yes. That's good to know. I am the top dog. Are you? Yes. You're actually, when I, I'm not going to even go down. You've been pretty weak. You just gather others underneath you. You don't have a whole lot of power yourself. Okay. Look at me. Before Jehovah God. Say, before Jehovah God. Before Jehovah God. That mocking spirit is gone. That mocking spirit is gone. Is that true? I'm not asking Lucifer come back. I'm not talking about Jezebel. I'm talking about the mocking spirit. Um, y'all already know this. this is all my testimony. I got delivered three times. I still didn't know what was wrong. You know, so that right there destroyed Lauren because Lauren like, yo, he's doing this on his own. He not demonically oppressed. He's using this to make you know, like it was so much y'all didn't know. I don't want to say too much. It was just so much going on. And y'all just looking at me like I got life. Everything's perfect. I'm a YouTuber. You know, he's stupid. He got a beautiful wife, three kids. You know what I'm saying? But y'all not knowing what's going on inside of me. And a lot of YouTubers probably going through this. I don't know, but I'm going to speak for my testimony. So, you know, I'm giving my life to Christ. And, you know, my life is really dramatically changed. I feel weird every, every day. It's so weird. I feel weird. I get um, um, Austin, you know, shout out to Austin. He baptized me. Uh, I feel good. My body's shaking, you know, and I'm going to church. I'm trying. I'm trying, but I still have some in me. So let's fast forward again. So now we sped up. This is the part where I'm about to tell y'all about the um about the hell. So, all right. So this is me and Lauren. We're split up. And, uh, you know, financially, we lost everything. You know, we lost everything and it was rough. So I'm praying to God, y'all. I'm a Christian. I mind you, I'm fully blown y'all seen us one last time when i had the mask on right y'all seen that video lauren took the videos down but y'all seen the video where uh if y'all this is y'all subscribers if y'all completely knew um basically i'm explaining the whole situation because i was if you knew i was a famous youtuber and i'm just explaining the situation to lead up to the hell situation so basically um we thought god restored us you know i thought god restored my marriage and I got so mad at God and I'm praying. I'm like, how can you restore my marriage? I don't have no finances. You took everything from me. Um, I did so much damage to my wife. Like what is going on? You know, so me not knowing that I'm still feeling lonely and I haven't really been delivered or godly sorrow, me and my wife get into it and I leave, do what I always do and i noticed it was the same thing i always do when an argument started or when i felt lonely and rejected or whatever i would go back to this girl so um and 
I would go to this girl being mad at God, being rebellious. So I went back to this girl. Mind you, I haven't did no edibles. I haven't did no drugs, you know, because I remember I'm a Christian. I already knew that if I did drugs, it's going to bring the demons back seven times worse, right? You know, when you go back into the stuff you're doing. So I get this hotel and I'm using the girl because I just want to feel... I need that pain to go away. You know, I'm mad at God, my finances, my life. I feel like my life is ruined. You know, I had this platform. I keep going back and forth. My subs don't like me. It's so much going through my head, y'all. Like, I just feel like one big failure. Like, yo, what is wrong with me? That's what I feel like. I feel like what is wrong with me? I had the perfect wife, kids. You know, I had all this. And I just feel like I ruined it. You know, and I don't know why I ruined it. I really didn't. I just thought I had a lust problem. And I was like, am I stupid? Or that's how I'm feeling, right? So... Um, uh, so I knew about not committing suicide because I was a Christian, but this particular day, um, the girl that I was with didn't even want to do edibles because we used to do drugs together when we was, you know, when I wasn't with my wife, I was with this girl and she, we had a bad encounter together. We had a terrible encounter and she said she was done. She actually was trying to get her life right, you know? And, but, um, she like, yo, don't take these drugs. I'm like, no, I'm doing it. In my head, I'm mad at God. I'm like, yo, I'm done with this Christian walk. I don't want to even deal with this no more. It's all this is, it's bored. Like God, I want you to be broke. He don't. He like all this is just. It's, it just don't make sense. I'm. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm. That's what I'm saying to God. I'm saying it in my head. I'm praying to God to show me signs. He didn't show me a sign. He quiet. And I'm demanding God. Like God, if you don't show me this, I'm not. I don't care about my wife. I'm doing my own thing. I'm. If I die, I die. That's how I'm thinking. Like, I'm thinking like that, yo, which is crazy, right? So it's 2 p.m. Oh, boy. I'm able to smile now because I got joy. But trust me, it's, it's about to get worse. So I go to the place. You know, it's 2 p.m. afternoon. And she, I'm trying to convince her to do it. She don't want to do it at all. It's just me. And um, I go to this place. There's a Mexican lady in there. And I feel a presence because, mind you, I'm still a Christian. I know about the spiritual realm, but I feel the presence of, like, it being so dark and demonic in this edible place. And I'm looking at her. The lady looking at me weird. And I'm looking at her like, I know I'm supposed to be in here. And I'm just stuttering my word. I'm like, uh, give me the lightest ones I got. She gave me four Rice Krispie treats. The four Rice, the four rice Krispie treats, they 25 milligrams. I used to take 1,000 milligrams to be high. So these are the lightest edibles I ever took ever doing edibles. Mind you, when I was doing drugs to, you know, get my mind off God and all the other stuff I was doing, right? So I took him, I asked the girl, you sure you don't want to do it? She's sitting right here. Not in this car exactly, but she's like, no, I'm good. All right. <clears throat> so I take the edibles. They don't kick in, you know, they don't kick in for about two hours. Instantly when they kick in, I go to sleep. So this is the part where I see hell. When I go to sleep, I left my body. When I left my body, boy, let's just say I had a heart attack and I died. I was able to see out my body. I was right here watching me die, but I was able to be inside my body, if that makes sense. I was able to see out how I'm looking at y'all right now, but I was able to see, all right, y'all is me watching me die <laughs> like that. That's what I see myself doing. I'm dying. But in the midst of me dying, I'm watching me die. That makes sense. I'm watching me die, but I'm yelling out to the girl like, yo, help me call the cops, call the emblems. And she's not responding. She's just doing her thing, right? And I'm watching me die, bro. I'm watching me die. like, And it was the most painful feeling I ever felt having a heart attack. I couldn't breathe. It was like a sharp knife getting stabbed through my body. And I had all the thoughts of, oh my God, I'm dying of my sin. And then at the time I'm thinking of me dying of my sin, I'm thinking like, I'm not calling on the name of Jesus. I'm having these thoughts, but I'm not calling on it. It happened like in the blink of an eye. It's nowhere you can think like, oh, if I die, I could just say, God, forgive me. No, I couldn't do that. It was like, this is it. You died in your sin. You knew about Jesus. God gave you one last chance. He sent prophets your way. He sent your wife your way. Everything your way to tell you to stop doing what you was doing. And you did this out of rebellion, right? So I'm thinking of that and I'm watching myself die. I'm holding my chest. Next thing you know, I don't know how much time it was. Now I'm not watching myself no more. Now I'm that person that was watching me die. I'm just him. I'm looking out that vision. I'm looking in a room. We was in a hotel room. The TV was on. I say this to the people I did tell because I didn't tell too many people about my health testimony because I don't like talking about it. So the first thing I noticed, you only get like a couple seconds to realize that you're dead. 
And when she realized that, you going to where you gotta go. So I look at the TV and I'm like, this is the most terrible acting. I say exactly how I said it. I'm like, why is the acting so terrible? You had such knowledge. You have the most 360 view of every single thing. You is so smart, but I'm realizing the acting is terrible and it's deceiving the people that's watching. I literally noticed that. I didn't look at the girl. I instantly heard the biggest earthquake noise of my life. It was the biggest boom noise I ever heard. It felt like my ears was about to bleed. And I got so scared and I heard like a demonic laugh and it was all at once mixed in. Boom! <laughs> and the demon that was laughing at me had like five voices like a legion. It was it was the most demonic laugh. It was like Call of Duty zombies on Black Ops 2 amplified with a deep voice and they're laughing as the boom noise is going on and you realizing you're there. And I'm freaking out, Frenicky. Mind you, it's the most demonic instrumental playing alone with the boom noise. And the boom noise is going like a thread. Boom. Boom. Like that. That's what it's doing. I'm going to try to put an instrumental or whatever. And... I'm seeing the little realm of the earth. The earth is so little. The earth is like, it's the smallest realm. And as I'm going down, I'm having these intrusive thoughts because you don't talk. And I'm talking, but as I'm talking, your voice is literally making noise, like voices, like, where am I going? And you instantly get a feedback. You're never getting out of here. And the demon would say that to me. You're never getting out of here. You're never going nowhere. You're a failure. You're hearing everything at once. But also you're seeing the realm as you're going down. You're seeing everything. Everything going on at once is freaking you out. And I'm like, yo, you got so much knowledge, but you're not worried about the knowledge. You're worried about, oh my God, I'm stuck here for eternity. And as I'm going down, I'm hearing this demon to keep laughing at me. I'm sitting around. I'm in my head. Oh my God, I'm never getting out of here. I got, oh my God. And this wasn't a dream. This wasn't a bit. This felt real. I had scary dreams before, and I'm and I, as I'm going down, I'm still hearing that dramatic noise, that instrumental. I can't even say it out my mouth, but I could do that. Boom! A thunder. Boom! A, like out of the, it's out of this realm, but it's blended together. But I can hear it clearly. The dude that's laughing at me, and I go to this 360 room. It's pure dark, but I'm able to see. And it's one big bean right here, and his face is cut off, but I can see the chest and the body. And I'm, I can't move And I'm just hearing that demonic music And I'm hearing that dreadful noise And now I'm at the point where I'm freaking out Because the demon is tormenting me now Like he's talking to me You're never getting out of here And I'm like why didn't I listen He laughing ooh, ooh, Like laugh It's so much going on And I just got to screaming God God This is this is the crazy part God didn't have no power down here Get me out of here God I'm just Ugh I'm screaming. Normally, I can't get out. It felt like I was down there for eternity. I can't even tell you the time I was down there. But I was screaming. But I, I thought of one thing. Jesus. Jesus. I said Jesus. Boom. Instantly in my body. But that's the crazy part, right? So I'm instantly in my body, right? Boom. Same thing happened again. Now I feel like, I don't know, if, I, at this point, I don't know if it's God messing with me to teach me a lesson, or I don't know if my soul is getting fought. Like, I don't know if the prayer somebody prayed for me, I don't know from this part. But I got dragged out of my body five times. But every time I said Jesus, I got sucked back in my body. But it felt like the demons was pulling me back and laughing. And every time I came back, it got even louder, and got even worse, and the lives got even louder. So I, Jesus, help me, I'm so sorry. Go back in my body. <laughs> And now, when I let me tell you this, when I did get sucked in my body, it was as look, I was in a natural world and I was talking to the girl. And it was like, okay, I'm good. No. Boom! I'm sucked back. Oh my God. And it was the worst because now 
that was my hell experience. I didn't see the flames. I seen the outer darkness. And I called on the name of Jesus five times, five to six times, came back in my body, got sorted back, and everything got amplified. The voices, me talking to the people, that got amplified. You're never getting out of here. The demon talking to me, and I'm like, oh my God. That got amplified five times. But I called on Jesus, and Jesus was the only name to get me out of hell. Literally. So, okay. I came back in my body for one last time when I called on Jesus and this was it. But now it's another day. It's another totally different day. I went to sleep at like four o'clock and I didn't wake up off 100 milligrams of edibles to 7.30 a.m. the next day. And the girl sleep and I wake up and then I'm freaking out. The girl thought I was schizophrenia. And she like, what are you talking about? I said, I went to hell. I got to go. I can't be with you. I'm sorry. You, She's tired of what I was doing because I was going back and forth to her and to my wife, back and forth. And she tired of me. She thinking, I'm like, yo, I'm never messing with this dude either. He kind of out of it. Like, something wrong with him now. And I'm like, yo, I'm not crazy. I just seen hell. I told you not to take those L. No, I just got took into hell. I got to take you home. I can't go back to my wife because me and her broken up at this point. Like, we're done. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to Detroit. That's where I'm at right now. I'm in Detroit. I had a pack of clothes there. I left all the clothes there. I'm missing some parts out. So this is the part where she started calling me schizophrenic and I'm tripping. You doing this thing again because you want to use me and go back to your wife. So you made up this story. And I'm like, I didn't make this story up to try to go back to my wife. I didn't. I really seen him. So that's what the girl's saying. And then now I'm explaining to her what I seen. And I'm telling her what she did. And she's starting to believe me. Like, wait, how did you tell me what you seen? Because I seen hell and I seen you in the spirit room. And she told me I was asleep from either 3 o'clock or 4. I don't know when I went to sleep. But it, like I said, I took the edibles at 2.30 and I had to go to sleep instantly. I remember I went to sleep instantly. We went for a ride and I came back and I went to sleep. So she said I was asleep for about eight hours. I never did that off edibles. I take a little nap, but I never midday wake up the next day. I wake up at night when the edible were off, but I was sleep. She said I was sleep the whole time, didn't move, didn't do nothing, just sleep. So for, she started to believe me because for me to tell her exactly what she was doing, she was like, okay. Uh, she started to packing her stuff up, take me home. She like, you know, she calling me names and stuff, but I'm not even worrying. I'm just like. You know, I'm I'm giving my life to the Lord. This is it. I'm I had it. I'm sorry, God. You got it. I'm thinking I'm about to get sucked back. I'm like, yo, they 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 playing with me. These demons, God, somebody playing with me. I'm freaking out. I'm like, okay, this wasn't supposed to happen to me. I'm a big YouTuber, man. Nobody's gonna believe me. This stuff happened to people like Chinese or the regular people. You know, I'm a Christian, but this wouldn't happen to me. I would never see hell. This wouldn't happen to me. I'm a millions of followers, 300K. Nobody's going to believe me. They're going to think I fell off. And, you know, they don't know I gave the stuff up. They think, oh, Joel just crazy. He's trying to use this Jesus thing to, to run to because he's having mental issues or he don't want to be a YouTuber or he's a cheater. Like, I'm thinking of this. I'm like, I got to let the people know. I'm drained. I drop her off. And mind you, God revealed to me this girl wasn't for me. Because at one point, I used to think, like, maybe she's for me. And I just don't supposed to be with, my, with Lauren, my wife. Maybe, I, I don't know. I always had thoughts. Like, maybe I chose up. I just got kids. God revealing to me, like, she's not the one. Because she wasn't even comforting me to tell me. She didn't quote Bible scripture. She ain't comforting me. She ain't do nothing. And I'm telling her, I just seen hell. I'm freaking out. I'm driving like this. I don't, I think she said some stuff, y'all, but hear me out. I don't know what she was saying to me because I, I was so out of it. I was numb. And I'm just like, I don't want to get a confrontation with her. You know, last time I dropped this girl off, I was in jail. She, you know, I don't, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want the devil to find out that. I didn't, I didn't want to do anything stupid to where I get caught to jail. And, you know, last time I got delivered, I went to jail for one month. I'm like, no. I don't want to do nothing stupid. Let me drop this girl off. If she cuts me out, I'm going to just sit there and take it. Because the last thing I want to do is get woken up from hell for real. And I get into argument. Now I got to deal with the police and spiritual warfare. And I was like, yo, this stuff is real. I got to get my life in order. I got to, I got to, this is it. And I was almost kind of happy in a way, but I was scared. I couldn't be around loud music. I drop her off. Boom, you know. She's looking at me and I'm just like, she don't even know what just happened to me, yo. You know, 
I've been dealing with so much. People told me, y'all, for the new subscribers, I mean, for the new people watching this video, people who said witchcraft was on me. Like, my life in the last four years, four years, no, I say two years. My life in the last two years, I had a lot of money, but my life has been so much hell. And I've been told by prophet, somebody did witchcraft on me. 2021, I heard the Lord says to me, I saw a particular woman who traveled to all the way to Jamaica. You understand? I don't know if you've been there before, but there's a woman who used to be a part of your circle and doing all this video. She traveled to Jamaica because in the realm of the spirit, I saw that this woman had a desire to be with you. But because you wouldn't leave your wife, she went to Jamaica with your belongings and went and did some witchcraft. And suddenly, your body starts to feel weak. Your, your body starts to feel dizzy at times you don't feel like doing nothing you just want to be in bed all day are you, are you, do you know what I'm talking about? yes and the Lord said because that woman went and did witchcraft in Jamaica and the Lord said since that day everything has been going left and right left and right and they didn't tell me the name of the girl but I assumed because it was only one girl that had my clothes and I'm thinking it was one girl that did the witchcraft on me was that girl that I was with because I was always with her right? so it's so much going through my head, speeding back up to where I'm out and I'm driving. I'm just like, yo, I'm glad this happened because I know I'm about to get right with Jesus. I'm just glad it's finally over because I used to pray to God like, God, I need help. Help me. Help me. I prayed to God. I prayed. and I knew I had a problem. I'm like, yo, this ain't this ain't normal. I wonder if other people going through this and they suppressing it. You know, and I'm just like, man, the money ain't good. I want my family back. I, I want to be right. You know, I want to be right. You know, so I'm kind of happy I seen hell because, you know, I had talks with my wife and she used this funny because she was the one that said she wanted to see hell for she can get right with Jesus. And I'm like, I don't want to see hell. I'd rather just see a spirit and be like, all right, this stuff real. Let's really get on fire for Jesus. I was the one that seen hell. And I'm like, yo, I heard the demonic beings. I seen the demonic being in the middle with me spinning around. I had a 360 view I could see everywhere. But man, this just goes to show you, get right with God, y'all. Get right with Jesus Christ. Get right. Because God, and this goes to show you, God will go as far to take you as deep as you got to go so that way your soul can be saved. Now, don't get me wrong. I still have problems I'm dealing with, but the fear of the Lord, I'm literally not suppress, suppressing the truth. I'm not running to alcohol or drugs no more. Absolutely no more. You can die. I used to tell myself, oh, edibles, you can't die off this. I'm especially 100 milligrams. No, you can die. You can die. You can die off alcohol. You can die in any situation. Don't take advantage of God. Give your life to Jesus. No matter how famous you is, no matter what platform you got, no matter how much money you had, you can die. And let me tell you. Even though I'm going to try my best to edit it and I'm going to spike the music up loud and put the laughs in there, that is not going to be what I experienced. The laughs and none of that is going to be what I experienced, not even by a hundred million times. Because you've been there and feeling neglected from God because you knew you had chances at the chances. You're thinking of everything bad. I can't explain it, y'all. I can't explain it. It's just bad. It's outer darkness. I didn't see where people getting tortured. I didn't see that part. I just seen outer darkness and this figure and laughing at me and I'm spinning around and 360 and I could see everything. And it was just torturous music, blasting, laughing noise. I wouldn't wish this on nobody. You know? And from there, that's why y'all been seeing me on this channel really converted to Jesus because I used to always have a hard time what am I going to do for content I love Jesus but I don't want to commit I don't know what I want to do I told myself I don't care about the views I don't care about the backlash I'm out here trying to get it right not just for me for my family for my close friends I don't care about the mockery I don't care about the platform you know I don't care about the struggle I told myself this time I'm going to serve Jesus. I'm going to serve God with my whole heart. I'm going to go through the storm. You know, y'all, go through that storm. Seek Jesus, bro, because you don't know when you're going to die. You don't know when you're going to die, man. And I'm praying for my loved ones that don't know Christ because what I've been through in the last two years was definitely worth every moment 
to save my soul, to know that it's a heaven and there's a hell. I regret it, yes, but I don't regret it because I'm here to send this video to the people that need to see it. I was famous for couples channels, 1.3 million. Everything the devil has used to destroy my life and God has used to save one of y'all lives, he sent this message and to save my life. This is not a game. And I told God, I'd rather, you know, I, I'm not with Lauren right now, you know, I, but I'd rather sacrifice my life and my happiness to save other people, to send out a message. It sucks, but at the end of the day, hell is real. People partying and going drinking. I, I, I didn't live that life. I didn't like partying. I was an athlete. And you in the midst of money and you feeling it. No, get right with God. That's useless. I seen the realms of realms. I seen me going down. This realm was so small. It was like a vapor. It was like a vapor. It was meaningless. We was like cartoons. Everything was slow motion, but I was going down fast. It was like a vapor, like a bleep. And it was like, whoa, this life felt way more realer than this life on earth. And it was like, what we do on this earth really matters because you don't want to spend eternity somewhere where you don't belong. And people, to this day, I get comments like, Joel, why did you give up all that? And you changed so much, I'm proud of you. And like, bro, I don't still know. I'm still new, but I don't know what God has for my life. But I'm here to tell you guys, get right with Jesus. Get right with God. Get the Holy Spirit. I'm learning the Bible. And um, I didn't even want to drop this video yet. You know, I've been struggling with a lot of stuff. My life has been like different. You know, it's been different. I have peace because I do, you know, I have the Holy Spirit in me. I have real peace. But when I struggle, now I know I can go to Jesus. And that's where the peace comes from in the midst of, like, the financials and all the stuff that I'm struggling with, especially, you know, I have seven years of me doing YouTube, being a poor kid, then coming back down to where I'm at. That's a struggle, you know, and I can humbly tell y'all this. Y'all don't have the money and the thousands no more. Can I get it back? Yes. Do I want it back? Yes. But do I want to do it that way and go through all that depression and get it? No, I don't. I don't want to do the things I did no more. And I don't want to sell my soul. You know, and there's a lot of people I know that's YouTubers going to watch this. I'm not forcing this on you. Your time going to come when you have a moment with Jesus. My time is now. But this is going to help you. You can't suppress the truth. I was suppressing the truth for four years of doing YouTube because Jesus was calling me. Everybody got a different call in time, but you don't want to miss out on that mercy and die and go to hell. Just know that. Two years has been the most terrible time of my life now, living on this earth. Four years in general, I've been doing YouTube for seven years. Four years was Jesus calling me and I denied him because I wanted the Lambos, I wanted to prove to people and I wanted to do this, I wanted to make a name. People said I was a failure, so I had to prove it. I'm Joel TV, I'm Joel and Lauren TV. No, bro, that means nothing. I'd rather not have no platform and save one soul, not me save one soul, reach one soul, the Holy Spirit use me and feel way better than any accomplishment of dunking, playing basketball, trophies, anything. It's better than the platform. So I'm out. If this touched you, get right with God. This ain't made up. I'm not lying about anything. I have nothing to gain out of doing this. This ain't for content. I might not even get monetized. YouTube to monetize. A couple of my videos. These don't even go viral. I don't care for these to go viral. I want this one to go viral though. Because I want people to know. I had it all. And I went to hell. And you can't run the drugs because you can die. You can't run the woman. That woman can put witchcraft on you. There's no way around it. No way around it. And there's no way around it because of the fact that you're dying slowly once you hiding and suppressing what you need healed. I told y'all, I had a problem being alone. So even when me and my wife would move out of the house, I had my own house, and I thought I was being a good husband, giving her 50 grand a month, 100,000. No, I moved my friend in because I didn't like being alone because of what happened when I was a kid. I suppressed it. Don't suppress it. You go to Jesus. Go to God. And you go through it. Get delivered. So that way you won't be in deep waters. 
because it's never going to go nowhere. I'm 30 years old and I'm just getting my life, boom, at a start. Don't wait that long. Whatever you're going through, you know what you're going through, addiction, soul wounds, or alone, go through it. When you go through it, it's going to be painful, but the pain is going to purify you. It's going to purify you, and when it's over with, man, it's going to be the best feeling in the world, knowing that you got through it in Jesus' name. You got through it. And you don't got to be depressed. You don't got to feel like a failure no more. I used to feel so, oh, man. I'm in this video, man. Like, subscribe. I feel so much happier. I'm peaceful. Look, I look good. Y'all see me turn to the side. I'm trying to show my little twisties off. I don't know. I'm trying to think about cutting my hair. I don't know. I just feel good. I feel secure. I, 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 I feel so good in the midst of the trial and storm I'm going through. Because I got comfort in Jesus. You know? Like, subscribe. Comment down below. Follow my journey as I walk with Christ. And, you know, whatever God is leading me, maybe I can help you, you know, and maybe I could pray for you. Drop a comment down below. And, uh, yeah, man. I'm out.